Thank you, Dr. Hushbon, members of the Board of Trustees, Senate President Sweeney, distinguished guests, faculty and staff who stood behind us, parents who helped make today a reality, family who thought that today might never come, <laughs> friends who filled their li our lives with memories, and most importantly, to the Rowan University class of 2013. My name is Tom Holroyd, and I'm the president of the Student Government Association, a proud history major, and a member of this year's graduating class. It's a great privilege to be speaking before you on this long-awaited May morning. I can't help but be another one to say congratulations and welcome to our commencement day. 88 years ago, the first 200 students at this university walked into the building behind me and laid the foundation for us to sit here. Today, more than 2,000 of us lay the foundation for the future. As freshmen, we began a journey towards this very moment, a moment we never realized would get here so fast when we set our bags down in our cramped dorm rooms on that hot August day. A moment we've been told for years would not only transform our lives forever, but would allow us to change the world one day. But what we failed to realize these past few years is that we've already begun changing the world as college students right here from Glassboro. From a classroom in Robinson to the halls of the Capitol in Washington. From the Student Center to the Hurricane Sandy ravaged Jersey Shore. From Rowan Hall to clean water deprived El Salvador. From James Hall to the classrooms of Camden, Guatemala, and beyond. My fellow members of the class of 2013, you've taken your knowledge and experience and not only made a name for Rowan, but prove to all the critics and non-believers that college students, and especially you, should be taken seriously. For all of us, Rowan started as a place where we came to earn our degrees, but the university became so much more. From fire alarms in Rowan Boulevard to Rogue Low in Prostock, the university has been the common denominator for some of our most unique and cherished memories these last few years. Memories that are only strengthened because of the lifelong friends that we share them with. But now, my friends, our time has come. Our graduation means more than just leaving Rowan, this place that we've called home. After years of preparation, sleepless nights, and times questioning whether it's worth it all, we've arrived at today. Today, we ignite the guiding lanterns of our lives off the torch of knowledge we've gained while here at Rowan. Today, we've earned that great honor we've strived for these past years, our diploma a sheet of paper that publicly acknowledges not just our education, but a pride. A pride not just in ourselves, but the pride that Rowan has for us in all of our achievements and our greatness. But members of the class of 2013, as we all know, and as you demonstrated countless times, we've never needed a sheet of paper to demonstrate our greatness. You need just look at this crowd today to know that we are great and that we will continue to do great things. The challenges of tomorrow will be met by those of us sitting here today on this green. So I urge you, on this day more than any other, as a new chapter in our lives begins, don't settle for anything less than the standard of excellence that you've already set. Continue to challenge those who will follow us to raise the bar higher than we will. Become the realization of who you are destined to be. Imagine the world not as it is, but as it can be. For society has made us the gatekeepers to the progress of mankind, and Rowan just handed us the keys. Shall we not unlock our promised potential and carry forth together? It's as Dr. King said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl. But whatever you do, you have to keep moving forward. Rowan University Class of 2013, Always believe in the beauty of your dreams. I wish you much success and the best of luck. Congratulations again.